Horton Tucker. The pass to Clarkson. They set the screen. Pass to Hendricks. Kessler with it. Hurdles there. Kessler, no good. Raptors trail by four. Olenek, a screen on Clarkson. The base passes to Olenek. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Olenek's got his second basket of the night. Well, you love how Kelly Olenek works off the pick and roll. He knows exactly where to be. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was a coach, but his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. And here are the Raptors now, following the bucket by the Jets. Olenek, a screen on Clarkson. The Beast, he can't get that one to fall. Collins with some nice D. Hendricks passes to Clarkson. Can't hit from in close. Raptors trail by four. Pass to the Beast. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. His first personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Raptors. Two shots. Shoot two. He's off on the first. And he's taking care of the hard part tonight, which is getting to the line. But, but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Barnes, he's checked in for Perk. Dick comes in for R.J. Barrett. And quickly in for Trent. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. You know, seeing an uptick in his trips to the free throw line, really, since we came out of the half. Such a wide open look. Lewis has got the lead up to 7 now for Utah. Toronto, they've gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Barnes, screen on Lewis. Here's the beast. Rebound, Utah. Collins has got his seventh rebound here tonight. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's the beast. Olenek, a screen on Lewis. The beast passes to Olenek. It's good. Olenek's got six here in this quarter. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now, here's Markkinen. He's got 15. And that one drops for him. Markkinen's got 17. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's the beast. Nine-point game. With the drive, uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got five. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. And here is Markkinen. 17 points in the game. Shoot from the right block, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Utah Jam bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. 
And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. So the Raptors five right now. They've got Dick. Emmanuel quickly out there with Bruce Brown. Then it's Barnes, and it's Olenek, and it's the five. Home in the paint. Scotty Barnes. Second personal foul. First team foul. And the first one drops. That one is no good. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Jake with it. Pass to Brown. Screen by Olenek. Out left of the wing. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Collins. Near the three-point line, it's Olenek. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Olenek giving the defense no time to react. Quick catch and shoot. Horton Tucker, the pass to Collins. To the paint. And Markinen gets it to go on the assist by Collins. Markinen's got 19 points. And there's the pass to Brown. Dick with it. The tray. And again, Toronto with the triple. The defenders are going to have to keep up with this rookie, Dick, an excellent shooter. Now, Horton Tucker. Collins a screen on quickly. Inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Olenek. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. John Collins. Two shots. First one falls for. And Utah making a change here. Lewis is checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Raptors trail by six. Here's Brown. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Now here's Lewis. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Third team foul. Collins passes to Baisley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Boy, Darius Baisley is enticing, guys. You're talking about a lengthy, athletic big man with outstanding versatility. Baisley, two shots. First free throw is good. Oh, 
12 free throws good from Baisley. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Down down low. Defended by Horton Tucker. Barnes passes to Quickly. It's deflected. Boy, blocking is a skill Darius Baisley is trying to develop. And that hard work paying off with the slot. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. Now, here's Quickly. Passes it to Dick. And the Raptors tack on two more. And whenever Dick is getting a pass, if he has any chance to get off a clean jumper, you know it's going up. Here's Basley. Outside, marking it. Stolen by Quickly. He's got a clear path. Plays it in off the breakaway. And now just a four-point Utah lead. And with the pace of today's game, transition defense is at a premium. I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. Now, here's Collins. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. You know, I've got to say, defensively, the effort simply hasn't been there this half. They've got to pick up their energy. Here's Barnes, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Boy, the defense tight inside, but Barnes just persevering. At the line for the Raptors, Scotty Barnes, two shots. free throw no good and they are shooting themselves in the foot here they've lost their touch at the line the percentage continues to drop from where it was in that first half Walker Kessler he's checked in for Baisley and the Raptors also making a change Pirtle he's checked in for Kelly Olenek and he can't make the second free throw either missing both Jazz leading by six pass to Horton Tucker Shot from 12. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his fourth rebound in this one. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Quickly the pass to Brown. Back to Quickly from the arc. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got nine rebounds now tonight. To the middle. Horton Tucker, the pass to Lewis. He dishes it to Markinen. To the inside. Pass to Horton Tucker. Four on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three. No good on the shot. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. I think we have to check his sanity because there's a number of better options on the floor. Who is outside? The pass to Kessler. Kicks it to Collins. Markin in the corner. Back to Collins. Passes it to Horton Tucker. Lewis with the three. Here's Kessler. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And the Jazz lead by six. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. the wing Barnes he's guarded by Collins Barnes kicks to quickly to the middle Dick that's good Dick's got nine points in the quarter it's just what the doctor ordered here boy have they needed him here in the fourth Lewis passes to Markinen banked in off the glass Markinen's got 21 this guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Quickly finds Barnes. Quickly against Lewis. Back to Barnes. 
Lewis attacking. Got a piece of it. And they'll get another chance. There's a screen by Collins. Horton Tucker. That's good. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. And the Raptors call time here. J. Barrett's checked in for Dick. Trent comes in for Bruce Brown. And it's the Beast in for Quickly. Raptors trail by nine. Barnes, screen on done. Here's the Beast. Trent outside. Here's the Beast, screened by Pirtle. The Beast passes to Pirtle. A second chance effort. Pass to the Beast. Floats one, and they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Utah moving it around. Markinen kicks to Clarkson. Jazz, another three. Oh, yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. And the dunk by Barnes. Yeah, that's about perfect timing on the alley-oop finish. Scotty Barnes' teammates know he's a big-time vertical threat. Here's Dunn. Pass to Markinen. Markinen is screen on Barnes. There's the pass to Dunn. Kessler with it. Hurdles there. Kessler, no good. Raptors trail by 10. Pass to the Beast. Barnes the screen. The Beast passes to Barnes. There another block and that's nine blocks you know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth too Clarkson against Trent pass to the beast Barnes the screen the beast passes to Barnes Toronto needs to get off his shot and too much time in the lane they get called for the three second violation and a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And then on Wednesday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Miami Heat. And that game against the Knicks, they'll need to be at their best for this contest. Anything short of excellence, and they'll be in for a rough ride. Here's Hendricks. They set the pick. Done with it. Started now by Barnes. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers done showing great vision. 
Raptors trail by 12. Here's the beast. Down low. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Yeah, surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. Knocked away. One on one here. And the Raptors can't hang on to the ball. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Jazz. He kicks it to Markinen. Dishes to Dunn. Out the basket. Dunn's got the lead up to 12 now for the Jazz. Well, you love to watch Chris Dunn because that handle is especially tight. Masterful control with the ball in his hands. Toronto calls timeout. trail by 12. Barnes dishes to Pirtle. Pirtle with a screen on Dunn. Pass to Trent. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Well, Trent Jr. has a reputation of being a shooter, but don't sleep on his athletic ability and skill. Nice finish inside. Clarkson against Trent. Clarkson outside. Shot clock at six. Kicks it to Dunn. The pass to Markinen. And the three off target. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's the beast. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Chris Dunn picks one up. Drops the first one, and that brings them within single digits. Both free throws, good from the beast. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Clarkson. Stolen. Now, the Raptors moving it up. Here's Barnes. It's blocked. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Oh. 
Passes it to Barrett. 125 left in the fourth quarter. Well, tremendous job by Markin and defensively. Use your size to make it tough on that offensive player. Here's Clarkson. And he lays it straight in. Clarkson's got 14 points now in the second half. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And when Pearl sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. Now, here's Clarkson. Here's Dunn. He takes it in. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. And the Jazz lead by 10. Here's the Beast. Arms screen on Dunn. The Beast. Barnes down low. Dunn covering. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Done. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Jazz making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. First free throw is good. And that brings them within single digits. Hits them both. Thirty-four seconds left to play here in the fourth. Clarkson passes to Horton Tucker. Back to Clarkson. We've got twenty-two seconds left in the game. From outside, off the mark, and Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. The Beast can't hit. Here's Horton Tucker. Defended by Trent. Horton Tucker with it. So we see the Jazz get the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.